So I was 17 years old, and I was out on Long Island, and everybody else had gone to sleep. And I couldn't go to sleep. And up in the mantle in this person's house was a 35 millimeter with a micro, with a micro lens. So I took it outside and I started focusing. It was a beautiful spring morning. And I started focusing on all the dew drops and, you know, all of these things. And I got fascinated with being able to isolate time and space and isolate just all of these little things that seem special to me. And the next day I enrolled in the New York Institute of Photography. The experiences that I had really translated into saying yes to life. And I think that a huge part of photography, and, and I tell my students when I teach, when you're looking through the viewfinder, you're saying yes. Every time you push that button, you're saying yes to life. You know, you're making a positive affirmation about life. And so I think that that does transcend back to that time. I looked at my career, I thought about what I wanted to do, and I realized what I wanted to do is make photographs. I didn't want to be a businessman, I didn't want to have a bigger operation and and, and deal with, with being a businessman rather than being a shooter. And I realized that if I stayed where I was in New York, I was just going to have people climb over the ladder and my career was going to go down. I kind of really reevaluated what I wanted out of my life. And what I wanted out of my life was to make photographs. I've always had a connection with the land and the people here. And when we decided it was time to do this, my ex-wife and I, we spent two months and we traveled around the country in a van and just went to all over America. And when we crossed the border into New Mexico, I started crying. And I realized that there was some kind of spiritual connection to the land and the people here. And all of us put those fears in the way of doing what we want. All of us put those fears as blocks to living our lives. And, I mean, we've got a finite time here. And if we don't do the things that we love, if we don't do the things that we enjoy, if we don't do the things that are important to us, one day we're going to turn around, we're going to go, God, I wish I'd done it. Whereas if you do it, at least you can say, well, I did it and that didn't work real good. But then you can move on to the next thing and eventually you find that magic, you find that thing that makes your life flow and have meaning. The failures are more important than the successes. Because the failures show you where you need to go. But the failures give you the opportunity to look at what you did wrong and to understand where you have to go to get those successes. I did a photograph called Family Portrait, which was a photograph of my mother and my father and my son and my ex-wife and me. And I call it the American Family. And I think that one for me is the more most haunting photograph because it really it really strips bare the relationship between my parents, my son, 
uh, my ex-wife and myself. Because I have to. I love it. Um, it defines my life. Um, it, and it's interesting because I'm pretty terrified of people. You know, I mean, I don't understand people and people have always scared me to death. And I find that through photographing people, it helps me to get a little bit more of an understanding of what people are. You know, and I love it. I mean, I can't imagine doing anything else. You know, and when you see, when you see the successes, when you see, you know, when when you make that image that just connects and has has all the elements in it, it's such a magical experience. People are people, you know, and I mean, you know, D Dylan, right? I mean, he's got a great singing voice, but he's still just a person. And I think what I did was approach everybody as if they were just people. And as we were driving around the back, the back roads, um, I'd see something, you know, like I'd see people out doing a 4th of July picnic or out gardening or whatever, and we'd stop, and I'd walk up to them and explain who I was and what I wanted to do and why I wanted to do a portrait of them and what I thought was special. If you approach someone and you explain your intent, you explain why you want to do it, and you explain that they're special, all of a sudden, they open up your house. And instead of getting that one little stupid snapshot, all of a sudden, you're in, your ki you're in their kitchen, you're in their bedroom, and you're in their lives, and you're getting such incredible photographs. In the two years and the 70,000 miles, we had one person say no. And most people, like it when someone says you're special. I see something about you that, that touches me and that I want to share it with the world. You know, I mean, like Sister Reedy, she was a 90 year old Pentecostal minister who also had uh, a watermelon field. And we got introduced to her and we ended up spending four days photographing her and working with her. The thing that I think is so important with portrait work is that you engage the person you're photographing, that you talk to them, that you experience them. And if you do that, you get so much more out of the photograph than if you just go click and move on. I talk to people when, when, when I'm photographing them and I say, you know, it doesn't matter how you're standing. It doesn't matter, you know, whether your arm is here or whether your arm is here or whether your head is this way. And what I tell people is I want them to look, at, and if you look at my work, almost all of it is eye contact. I really, really like it. And I tell people, I want you to look in the camera and instead of thinking about you're having your your picture taken, I want you to think about something that's special to you. You have them think about that and try and put that into the lens and then look into the lens and think about that and put that person in the lens that you're thinking about so that what you're really photographing is the, the, the emotion that they're feeling. And to me, that's portraiture. Yeah, if you're really good, there's only one person in the photograph, and that's the subject. If 
you're really good. And to me, that's portraiture. It's magic.